ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் டுடே வீல் கவர் ஏ டாபிக் தட் கம்ஸ் அண்டர் மிட் வைஃப்ரி அண்ட் ஆப்ஸ்டிக்கல் நர்சிங் ஆஸ் வெல் ஆஸ் பீடியாட்ரிக் நர்சிங் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வீல் சி அபவுட் இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் இன் டெவலப்ட் அண்ட் டெவலப்பிங் கண்ட்ரி நியோனேட்டல் மார்டாலிட்டி ரேட் இஸ் ஹை ஆஸ் இன் இண்டியா எயிட்டீன் பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆஃப் நியோனேட்டல் டெத் டேக்ஸ் பிளேஸ் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் மீன் பை நியோனேட் நியோனேட் த பீரியட் இமீடியட்லி ஆஃப்டர் டெலிவரி Uh, till 28 days or 4 weeks of duration we can tell it as 1 month uh, in this period uh, among uh, 50% of neonatal death takes place within 24 hours immediately after the delivery and 40% of the neonatal death occurs uh, uh, 1 week of life and above 60% of neonatal death takes place within 1 month uh, as of a part a comprehensive organization of neonatal care is very much essential uh, to prevent the neonatal mortality early identification and treat the complications can save the uh, life of the newborn so our topic is levels of newborn care so level of newborn care today we will discuss about three title level of newborn care according to the uh, gestational age and birth weight of the Uh, newborn uh, the levels of newborn care is divided into three levels first level of neonatal care uh, level 2 neonatal care and level 3 neonatal care so first we will see what is uh, level 1 neonatal care so level 1 neonatal care is otherwise known as basic newborn care or well baby nursery so here uh, in this uh, uh, basic uh, neonatal care all the normal newborn babies Uh, will be taking care of the newborn and the baby having mild risk or mild congenital anomaly without having any medical uh, complications of signs and symptoms so first we will see what are the indication of uh, uh, level 1 uh, neonatal care so indication if you see uh, the baby's uh, birth weight is uh, uh, if it is uh, uh, more uh, more than 2000 gram and the gestational week is more than 34 weeks of gestation abgor score should be more than 7 and uh, the baby will be normal healthy baby regular uh, newborn care can be given and the baby such as mild meconium aspiration uh, baby born with uh, a diabetic mellitus ba- uh, mother high risk mothers or infectious mothers and baby doesn't have any medical illness or signs and symptoms mild congenital anomaly such as polydactyly so these are the uh, 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 babies that comes under the level 1 neonatal care so what is the type of care care we are giving basic uh, normal newborn care observation daily observation uh, maintenance of temperature prevention of in, uh, infections initiation of breastfeeding immediately delivery if the baby is needed resuscitation measures to save the baby uh, all the routine normal essential newborn care is uh, given and uh, uh next we'll see uh, 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 who are the personals uh, here uh, they can take care of postnatal mothers uh, that is uh, their own mothers and the nurses uh, who are available in the postnatal ward and the uh, doctors that is minimal uh, aids uh, minimal assistance is uh, needed for taking care of the babies and uh, uh, routine care can be given and this uh, level 1 care can be given in home center sub center primary health center so that's all about the level 1 uh, neonatal care next we will see level 2 neonatal care level 2 neonatal care that is known as the special care nursery so uh, in this uh, special care moderately risk uh, children uh, that is the neonates are taking care and the neonates who need a progressive uh, development and maturity if they are having a uh, very low uh, birth weight or gestational age and uh, they doesn't have they are very stable and the babies they are uh, discharged from the uh, neonatal icu Uh, for the routine uh, observation uh, care and they are uh, discharged from the neonatal icu because of mild uh, surgical procedures that babies can be taken care in the special care uh, nursery so we are we need to give a special care for the newborns in the special care nursery uh, next we'll see who are the uh, newborns indication indication uh, uh, the baby having uh, birth weight 1200 gram to 1000 uh, 
that is below 2000 gram maximum of 1800 gram and the baby's uh, uh, gestational week is uh, uh, 30 weeks to uh, less than 34 weeks of gestation and Abgar score, Abgar score is uh, uh, 4 to 6 uh, Abgar score and the baby having meconium aspiration, baby need of tube feeding, uh, infusion pump, oxygen uh, apparatus uh, support is needed, incubator care, phototherapy, radiant warmer. Uh, exchange transfusions, uh, baby need uh, continuous observation, uh, baby is going for hypothermia uh, that uh, maintenance of uh, temperature, uh, congenital uh, moderately congenital anomalies baby uh, needing a special uh, care of uh, uh, baby. So, so, these are the uh, uh, indication of uh, uh, level 2 neonatal care and uh, uh, what type of care, care uh, special care is uh, very much essential for the uh, newborn and what are the equipments, equipments if you see phototherapy, radiant warmer, infusion pump, uh, then next uh, incubator uh, uh, support, oxygen uh, hood, oxy apparatus. Uh, and uh, transcutaneous temperature monitoring, apnea machines, vent uh, ventilator and, uh, 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 and life saving uh, measures of uh, medications also uh, needed. Uh, next we will see uh, level 3 neonatal care. So, level 3 neonatal care uh, mainly uh, known as the uh, neonatal intensive care unit. In the neonatal uh, intensive uh, care unit, uh, we are giving a multidisciplinary care, critically ill uh, neonates will be there in the neonatal intensive care unit. They have any uh, post surgical procedures like cardiac uh, surgeries and they are severely dependent babies uh, needed uh, complete respiratory support, life saving measures, life threatening babies, severely uh, prematurity, intrauterine growth retardated uh, babies are uh, giving more care on the uh, uh, level uh, 3 that is neonatal intensive care unit. So, we will see what are the indications. Indication if you see uh, the baby is having uh, uh, birth weight uh, less than 1200 gram and uh, the baby's uh, gestational week is less than 30 weeks of gestation and uh, baby severely meconium aspiration, baby having diagnostic procedures like cardiac catheterization, peritoneal dialysis, exchange transfusion and uh, babies are uh, having uh, uh, any severe uh, birth injuries, congenital anomalies uh, uh, babies are there, uh, any cardiac surgeries uh, example like PDA, uh, uh, patent ductus arteriosus uh, uh, ligations uh, and uh, severe erythroblastis uh, uh, babies, severe uh, low birth weight uh, uh, babies, uh, uh, babies needing total parental uh, nutrition, complete respiratory uh, support that is ventilator, continuous positive pressure uh, ventilator or intermittent according to the condition of the babies. All life saving measures is needed uh, for the intensive care unit. So, what are the equipments? Equipments uh, intensive care uh, uh, unit incubator is needed, phototherapy, radiant warmer, infusion pump, ventilator, uh, apnea monitoring, uh, vital signs monitoring, transcutaneous uh, temperature monitoring, transcutaneous BP monitoring, pulse oximetry, partial pressure of oxygen and carbon dioxide, biochemical uh, uh, facilities for analysis, uh, facilities are uh, needed for uh, laboratory investigation, arterial blood gas analysis, facilities for ultrasonography, facilities for MRI, uh, all the uh, all uh, radio radiographic analysis and diagnostic uh, measures uh, needed, tube the, tube feeding. Uh, uh, then infusion pump uh, for administering antibiotic, IV drops, uh, uh, then uh, gastric uh, gavage instruments. Uh, so, the, all this uh, uh, is needed in the uh, neonatal intensive care unit and li life saving measures also needed. Who are the personal, uh, personal, personal in the level 2 and the level 3? In the level 2 and level 3, uh, skilled nursing personnel is needed. That is level 2, uh, nurse and uh, newborn ratio 1 is to uh, 1 is to 1, level 3, 1 is to 1 is to 0, 5 and skilled pediatrician, trained pediatrician, full time uh, they should be there and skilled neonologist, uh, then next uh, uh, if you see surgeons, pediatric surgeon, subspeciality people, anesthetologist, respiratory uh, therapist, uh, 
and uh, whoever is uh, giving a multidisciplinary care for the uh, newborn that uh, nursing and that uh, personals has to be uh, present in the level 2 and level 3 and here if you see level 2 can be uh, giving care in the uh, district hospital or teaching hospital level 3 can be uh, given care in the specialized neonatal icu uh, care hospitals and uh, what are the uh, main uh, causes of death of uh, uh, newborn uh, if you see uh, birth injuries uh, congenital anomalies uh, low birth weight babies uh, uh, then next uh, uh, they have any sepsis infectious diseases uh, and the baby having uh, uh, rh incompatibilities uh, the baby uh, having uh, uh, preterm uh, uh, deliveries or preterm babies uh, and uh, the baby having uh, severe congenital anomalies these are the major risk or uh, complications because of neo uh, because they will go with a neonatal death when we are uh, giving all the uh, level of care ac according to the uh, sub center primary health center or the home setup or the district hospital or in the uh, specialized hospital uh, this can be early identified prompt observation and special care or critical care can be given and we can uh, reduce the uh, complications and we can reduce the maternal uh, reduces the neonatal mortality and better uh, neonatal uh, outcome can be uh, gained so today class we have discussed about what is a uh, newborn care uh, level of newborn care uh, what are the three levels who are the uh, nursing pers uh, personals and what are the equipments and what are the complications and uh, how we can prevent so uh, I am signing off uh, mrs. Nima next class we will meet again thank you